Hi, I am so sorry that my Grammy reaction video is weeks late, but I was sick. I had to go on antibiotics after looking at Madonna's raw ass on the red carpet. Anyway, Madonna was so exhausted after her performance that she had to be airlifted to a nearby rest home immediately afterward. Oh, edge. Once upon a time, there were two baby drag queens that became best friends in Atlanta, Georgia. One became RuPaul, the most glamorous drag queen in the world. The other one turned into a sad, crazy, trash-talking whore. Uh. This is Lady Bunny's Dirty Dish. Beck was extremely surprised to learn that he'd won Best Album, because like most of us, he'd forgotten he'd even made an album in 2014. <laughs> Prince came on stage to remind us all once again that no one in the history of the world has ever spoken these words. Hey, see that hot guy over there dressed like Prince? <laughs> Beyonce performed a gospel song in a see-through white dress, just like Jesus. That world-famous vagina steamer, Gwyneth Paltrow, ruined one dance number's special effects by squatting over the smoke machine. On a sad note, Sam Smith told reporters that his three Grammy wins were tempered by the sad news that his stylist had died in 1985. Iggy Azalea showed off rolls and pastries she'd baked for the other nominees. On her head. Paul McCartney, Rihanna, and Kanye West's performance was interrupted by an unidentified whirling noise that turned out to be the sound of John Lennon and George Harrison spinning in their grave. <laughs> Britney Spears thrilled music lovers everywhere by not attending this year. Yoko Ono disappointed music lovers worldwide by not appearing in the death montage. <laughs> Katy Perry proved her music is not just for 12-year-old girls' birthday party. Her touching, dramatic, low-key performance will be an instant hit at children's pet funerals. <laughs> Carrie Underwood won a country Grammy for a song called Something in the Water. That was so sweet of her to write a song about Bobby Christina. <laughs> You know, I was debating making a joke about Bobby Christina being brain dead, but then I thought, it's not right, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, and Taylor Swift got exactly what she deserved. Nothing! Fuck you, Taylor! <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents! Woo! Did you hear the news? RuPaul's DragCon is the first ever drag convention in her street. Go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com for tickets and all the tea you need to know.